folks, it's Adrian. I'm really excited today because I will be sharing with you Google Plus on the Android. I'll take you through all the available applications that are on there and I'll talk about what each one does. Now, when you're on your phone here, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and launch your Google Plus icon. And we have Stream, Photos, Circles, Huddle, Profile. Stream is all of the content that your people and your circles are sharing. So people are sharing everything from links, they're mentioning other people, they're sharing photos, they're sharing videos, all sorts of things. And of course people are leaving a lot of comments on what they think, maybe they're sharing additional information. Uh, you can also see when people are getting together for Hangouts. Now, although video is not available yet on the Android device, it will be there. And I'm sorry iPhone folks, you don't have an app yet, but I'm sure you will very soon. Now the next thing here are photos. And we can go ahead and take a look at photos from my circle, photos uh, from me, my albums, or from my phone. So if we go here and look at my circles, I see there's a bike photo, as well as it looks like there's some sort of alcohol content. So let's go here and take a look. And also people have been uploading a lot of profile photos of themselves. And you can see that it loads up fairly quickly, which I like. And I, I would think that the images are cached. Over here, photos of me. I've uploaded some photos of myself as well with, as with friends. So that's worked out really good. Your albums. I've only uploaded a couple of photos, but today we'll upload a photo to show you how that works. And we can see that some of these are um, also from my Picasso album. And then from my phone. And in fact, let's go ahead and share one. I took a photo of some limes and lemons earlier because I'm making lemon bars for the 4th of July. So let's go ahead and we select the little check mark. You can select up to eight. Let's say I want to share it. And then I can go ahead and post it, right? And I could say lemons and limes. And so the nice thing is you can attach multiple images and you can take a photo right there if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and hit post. And you'll notice it's pretty quick to upload. Boom, we're done. Now, uh, the other thing you can do as well, let's go here and go back. I like to do a lot of my photo sharing directly from the Android device in the photo gallery. So if we go in here, and let's say we're looking at one of the photos, then all we have to do is go to share, and that's where you have all your options. And you can see I have Picasso, Bluetooth, I do Twitter a lot, Dropbox, but now you also have Google Plus available to you. And so if we hit Google Plus, then it'll give you the same photo upload options that it gave when you were actually in the Google Plus application. So I think that's really convenient. Uh, now if we head over here, we can look at circles. So circles, you'll see all the circles you've created. You can go ahead and go ahead and search for people within those circles. Yeah. So you can't create new circles on your Android device just yet, but I'm sure that's something that they'll add in the future. You can go ahead and search for people, Oh, as well as view suggested people. Here you can see if someone is following you and if you are following them back, as well as which circles they belong to. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Huddle. A lot of people have been asking about Huddle, saying, you know, what is that? Well, Huddle is a lot like Beluga. Beluga was purchased earlier this year uh, by Facebook, and basically it's group private messaging. The nice thing is you can access it via an application, uh, via a browser, or you can even do it through text messaging. So Huddle is basically the same thing. This one was started uh, a couple of hours ago. And forgive me if I'm kind of going out of focus with my, uh, I'm going, ooh, there it goes. Um, but we can see here, so some people have been invited. Uh, people have started responding. I'm going to go ahead and just say hello. Hello, and I'll say making a video. Making a video about Google Plus, Google Plus Android app. And there we go. I've now submitted, and there it is sitting in there. Okay, uh, so this could be really, really helpful if you want to go ahead and communicate with people, uh, you know, while you're at an event or, you know, maybe you're traveling. So just like Beluga, you can go ahead and create these specific huddles uh, to have communication. And for your profile, you can go ahead and it'll bring you into your stream of posts. That's what items are called that you create. In Google Plus, we can see I can go to my About page, I can look at my profile, 
Uh, I can go over here and see which photos I've uploaded and things like that. And we can see on my profile there are the lemons and limes. So here we see Felina asking how much are the limones. Um, I know how much lemons and limes are, but uh, I did not see any limones unless those are the tiny ones. I think it's a great app. I think it's uh, very handy. We can see down here we have notifications. Uh, for people who have interacted with my profile, left a message, left a comment, added me, and things like that, uh, you can go ahead and control the notifications to your phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back in and take a look at that. So if we go down here, and if we go to settings, in fact, look, new Google Plus notifications, I just got one. Um, you can turn them on or off. You can have it vibrate as well. If you want to have a specific ringtone, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, huddle notifications. I Oh, I see Wardell says, oh cool, I'll be looking for it. <laughs> see, because he got notified as well. Um, and here, so <laughs> I can see my reflection. Hi. Hi, Adria, how are you? I'm being so silly. All right, um, huddle notifications. I do have to say that while I was at South by Southwest, I was in a beluga group, and it got a bit excessive sometimes having my phone vib vibrate like eight or nine times in a minute because one person would say something and then like several people would all respond. So, uh, but it's nice that you can go ahead and turn it off. Oh, and here's someone else. Zach is saying can't wait to see it as well. Uh, and then we see vibrate, ringtone, and there's another thing called instant upload that people have been talking about and that's the ability to instantly upload any photos that you take with your phone. I mean, yeah, that's just maybe a little bit too open. There's two things. One, privacy. You don't really intend for every photo to be published and shown online. And two, not every photo is a great photo that you want to share. So I could see, though, if you were maybe doing some live photo blogging, how that would be really, really helpful. So maybe they plan to tie in some live blogging feature. Um, if we go here to the settings, you can um, modify or control the upload status. So that could be to save on bandwidth or battery life. Um, the other option allows is for you to upload existing photos. So the nice thing is you can control when these uploads occur. So if you want to only upload when you're on Wi-Fi, for example, you can do that. If you want to be um, sensitive to battery life, then you could maybe only do uploads when you're plugged in, which makes sense when you're having downtime. You're going to grab a cup of coffee. You know, maybe you're out in an event. You're covering a fair. You're covering a convention. Some kind of interesting, exciting conference. So that wraps it up for the review of Google Plus on the Android. We have your stream, photos, circle, huddle profiles and notifications. So let me know what you think. Have you downloaded the app on your Android device yet? And let me know. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.